What you he see here are hardware bins for the assembly team. The bins with the red tags are out of stock and they are limiting the team's ability to complete the work. The replacement hardware is on a delivery truck that's just arrived at the warehouse. We're gonna watch how that inventory is tracked throughout the warehouse. Here you see that a Williot bridge has been mounted to a forklift with a Cassie installation kit. As this forklift begins to pull pallets off of the truck, the bridge sends RF waves to energize the BLE tags on each box. These individual BLE tags then send the box's identity back to the bridge. In a traditional system, each box would need to be removed from the pallet and individually scanned. But here you see that no additional operator effort is required. The pallets are now being relocated to a box cutting area where the items inside the boxes will be removed. This Cassie belt over roller conveyor has been integrated with single band bridges to monitor which boxes have been dropped off in the cutting area and are ready to be cut. And this is a top view of the Cassie box cutting machine, which is one of the flagship products for Cassie. It's being, being used all over the world and it cuts up to 950 boxes per hour. Here, the Cassie O-ring conveyor has a dual band bridge, which changes the box's inventory state to cut complete. In this area, the unidentified white boxes are removed from the brown BLE tagged boxes. And so after this point, these decanted white boxes then need to be relocated into a new area of the warehouse. Here, the BLE tags will be applied to the boxes and they will be sorted by inventory location by this system, the Cassie sort. The Cassie sort sortation wings have integrated Williot bridges to track when a box has been sorted. These single band bridges are very small and so they can be discreetly located on the machine. Here we see Cassie's Agility Flex conveyor beginning to move the boxes through the Cassie sort. The boxes will move from this conveyor through a scan tunnel and then finally to the sortation area. The Cassie sort is capable of sorting up to 30 boxes per minute. And these boxes are sorted um, by color in this case. Uh, this is based on the content's final location, and once the boxes are in the sortation area, the bridges under the folding wings will read the BLE tag on the box, and the inventory state of the box will change to sorted. These sorted boxes now need to be moved to the correct stocking location in the warehouse. This Cassie smart cart incorporates a dual band bridge to indicate that the boxes on the cart are now being transferred to their stocking location. The process that we have seen has tracked these boxes and their contents across the warehouse while moving it from various inventory states. This case study demonstrates some of the advantages of merging Cassie's automation with Williot's inventory management technology. And as you can see, the hardware is successfully transferred to the correct bin location and the assembly team may resume work with these parts.